What's up everybody? Welcome back to another Black Ops 3 custom zombies map. Today I have one called the West Trading Company or <laughs> ZM Yeet. I did just record this one, but when I look back at my recording, my audio sounds were all kinds of jacked up. So I'm re-recording this. I've already seen the map, but honestly it is not a huge map. It is a very cool looking one, but I will show you all myself yet again. Anyways, we'll get into this one. I will show you the map and I've got a few things to talk about once I get into the map. Hopefully my audio is not too jacked up and I'm drowning the game sound out with it. <laughs> I don't know what's been going on lately. Like I've had issues with, I'll test my mic to see how it sounds. It sounds perfectly fine. It's not too loud, too quiet. I get in the game and then suddenly it's like uh, extremely loud or really like staticky or I don't know what's going on. Anyways, re-recording this map. So we got speed cola here. Um, I'm stuck. What the heck? That was buggy. That didn't happen the first time. Got flashlight mod. Cool looking building. West Trading Company. So anyways, a couple little things mainly about the channel and what's going on how lately. I have a Discord server, which I will have a link in the description of this video, and probably future videos as well. I set one up, it's just a, a text only, chat only, so you know, we talk about the videos, the channel, the games, anything related there. A little easier than using the comment section in YouTube. Speaking of YouTube, I kind of am dropping some of my other video series videos on video games I play, and um, mainly because I've been having some success with my videos, and because of the way YouTube works, work is still posting different well, games, fun. especially ones that are not like zombie games or survival games or something, uh, it screws with you know the old algorithm, and then it doesn't show people my videos so then they don't get used and I don't have seeing them so I was going to play new like two new games starting at the beginning of the year I just like one it this is definitely what better I expected like. honestly but I'm not going to be playing it anymore not in videos I do play my other games for just personal enjoyment still do stuff with them now on though, unfortunately, because of how YouTube works and just to make video recording and video editing a little simpler for myself, it'll mainly be the Call of Duty Zombies content that you've been seeing lately. So Black Ops 3 Customs, maybe World of War Customs eventually. I mean, I already have some, but I just don't do videos on them because it's kind of old and dated, unfortunately, as much as I hate saying that. Obviously, I'm still doing MWZ content. I've shifted away from just gameplay to doing like, I don't know what you call them, tricks and tips and tutorials and guides and hey, this is a glitch or, you know, stuff like that. I'll also be starting to do some other Call of Duty Zombie games, like Black Ops 1, 2, maybe 4, maybe Cold War, definitely not Vanguard, I'm not buying that game. I have all the other games already. Because clearly nobody, nobody likes that game, so why do it, right? But unfortunately, that's just the direction this channel is going to be getting ready to go in, and it kind of already is at this point. Just because YouTube doesn't like you playing multiple different games, unless you just want to do it for the shit of it, which initially I was, but I'm over 100 subscribers, which that doesn't seem like much. Some people, but to me that's a lot year. more than I thought I'd ever see. And I would like to try to grow the channel as much as possible. I mean, obviously I think there's ways to do it efficiently. Let's grab what we can and get to it. But for simplicity's sake, I'm just going to stick to the Call of Duty Zombies for the foreseeable future. So unfortunately, if you're here for Daisy or like seven days back, or even Minecraft, I haven't done that in a long, long time. Fortunately, I won't be doing Keep any it more coming. videos. You know I always want it. And it's not because I don't want to, it's just because YouTube says, you do this and uh, we're going to screw you over. So, choose wisely. 
second. Last time I opened up that barrier, which the zombies don't jump up on it, but it's a good camping spot up there, I found. So I'm going to open this one first. Because it... You know, I don't think I needed to open that. I'm an idiot. That was a waste of 750 points. But anyways, back to the, the, the channel and what's going on with, like, why my contents kind of went one-sided. Obviously, the, the YouTube algorithm and, like, the way it works thing is a big part of it, but... Seven Days to Die, I mean, nobody was really watching that when I kind of stopped doing it. I really like the game. I really like making the videos. It, it's fun and it's enjoyable for me, but... If nobody watches them, then, uh... Why would I make them when I have, like, MWZ and... Kind of custom zombies getting twice the amount of views. And then with Daisy, I like playing Daisy, but to make videos, we go again. at least for me, is Extremely penetrable honestly a little bit painful because I could play for 20, 30 hours, record every second of it, and maybe get 10, 15, 20 minutes of actual good video content. Like I'll actually encounter somebody and have a good fight, or I'll discover something cool, or some random glitch happens. But it takes, you know, hours upon hours of Every gameplay. Every second counts. Which, Maybe more now than ever. I mean, I'm having fun doing it, but when you have a life outside of video games, you know, it's kind of hard to play that many hours and then do it each week to make sure you post another video, you know. So that's the other reason why I've kind of dropped my other games. And like some of the newer games, kind of what is this? I'm still playing that. Space I'm actually wood? checking it out. They just dumped couple updates out you don't want to piss me off today. Cool stuff there but if I post another video you're not going to see this one or the next MWZ one or a future live stream because I kind of want to do another one I have some ideas but if you all want me to live stream something else go to the discord and uh, tell me what you'd like to see Try to rile uh, me up. you're not giving me any more points so I need to go get Jug by the way, Jug is in here. It's a 2,000 point door. Give me my points. Give me my Jug. So yeah, this is pretty much the map. Trap between it dimensions looks cool. There's plenty of debris. Beings. It's yeah, kind of like another one I just played. Use a drink about it's now. a simple map, but... There's barriers right. and there's different ways to go. Over. It's kind of cool that the map maker implemented that on a small map. Also seeing, apparently, he's uh, working on an update where he's adding another area, I think. It's something about outside of the map, so I guess I'm like out there. So if the map is different when you play it or see somebody else play this, that is why. There is supposedly an update coming for this. But anyways, yes, if you were here, subscribe to the channel for other things besides Call of Duty Zombies. I really do apologize. It's just YouTube and variety of different factors have played into why I'm just kind of sticking to uh, this, this kind of content from now on. I enjoy playing zombies. I can play zombies all day long every day. It may be boring to other people, but I could definitely play it, so if it is giving me success with the channel growth and I enjoy playing it and there's always something new coming from the custom zombie community. Or God forbid we get an actual update to MWC. You know, huge game changing update coming with season two. I'm sure everybody's gonna love to see that. <laughs> but I've always got content I can post here that'll be something new, something fresh, something different. Even though I'm about as dry and monotoned as it gets. We know they're just gonna waltz right Anyways, through. I'm just play the map now. I'll go to round twenty. I did that last time I did the last man stand and I learned from my mistakes I'm not gonna buy I bought a twenty five hundred dollar quick revive. Long story short, Wonder Fizz is twenty five hundred. And I got pretty like that. So I tried to do last last stand and uh well I had to die and it's you or me. Last stand always gonna be you. That was fun. Won't make that mistake this time. Bring the arcade back to life a little bit. Yeah. Why 
my organs are itchy. Goodbye, my uh, probably should see pondering speed. All this fighting the box. for survival really leaves you parched. Let's see what these guns are in here. There was some cool guns in here. Uh, that is not a cool gun. That is like the entire opposite of cool. Also, there is a zombie shield, but it's just a trans shield. But what the heck was that? Is that the box shutting? There's a transit shield, you just build it right there. Let the good times roll. Give me something other than the spawn room weapon. Nice. Holes in those slack gutter I mean, this is technically a spawn room weapon, but this is not a weak. I hope this is not a weak version. This should be like the, uh, the overpowered version. Like Here we go again, building like extremely it. penetrable barriers. Oh, yeah. Good old M14 gameplay, you know. Clearly, we know which uh, which gun that Treyarch liked. They brought it back, but they didn't bring it back the other I mean, I guess low. they did, but they only did it in multiplayer. Kind of weird. Now, hey, we have zombie weapons, iconic ones at that. And it's only in multiplayer. That makes sense, right? Having attachments. Speaking of, I think this is Pack Punch. Yes. Yes, yeah, so Pack a Punch is in that door, open by that button. What is wine is behind the 750. This would be a cool place to put the end game. Should put it right here. But there's no end game, unfortunately. Decimate the zombies with M14. So anyways, if you're still here watching, um, there's some ideas in the Discord server chat, or in one comment section of the video. What should I do for my next live stream? I have some ideas in mind, I'm not going to give them away or like put a vote up or something for it. I want to see what people want to see, and then I will play and stream from there, but if I don't get any ideas, nobody comments or says anything, still not as fun as blowing stuff and then up. I won't worry about it. Dead shot. I need, I need the worst perk in pieces now that's possible. A hard offer to turn down. And there's no perk on it, by the way. And the Wonder Fizz is loud. So loud. I, no, I'm, gonna, I'm not going because there's no way to end the game short of letting the zombies actually eat me, so I'm gonna save my I'm gonna save my right to end the game forcefully via other options that PhD would block me from doing. Imagine if this was the spawn room weapon in like all the default maps of Black Ops 3. You know, forget about <laughs> Forget about opening doors, power, perks. You just buy the M14. Stakes are never higher. One tap, unlimited ammo. The second part of the trip. Well, unlimited ammo because you can buy. Good old death machine. Okay, meat bags. Come get acquainted with Dempsey's grinder. What's up? Oh, there's also a Tommy gun on the I got last time, but it's just a standard block off. Okay, so no foregrip, but tons of ammo, like, jeez. Why check him? I think the normal pack to punch M14 actually does it at 92 when upgraded. I think. It's either 192 or 128 results in the 16. Kind of my go to on, like, Black Ops 2 like, survival maps. Especially tanks. I mean, you only got like three guns. MP5, Olympia, M14. Galvanuckles and Stem Texas are there, but 
Not really guns, say. I also use it a lot of them. That's pretty good. Especially if you're training in the, uh, the center area. All the back. Works pretty good. Can we get dead shot? Because I don't think there's another person I really want. That would be useful. No! I didn't get this last time. I'm curious. Does it actually work? Three grand. It better do something. Okay, so it does work. Not very useful considering you can see pretty much the whole map. <laughs> It's weird how death perception with BO4 perks sucks, right? But now that this, like the way zombies works in the new Call of Duty, actually made this perk kind of god no compared to what it was in Black Ops 4. But clearly in Cold War, you know, you could fully upgrade it, and it was kind of OP because it gave you like extra salvage drops and extra armor damage and stuff like that, and you could see all like the loot containers and outbreak me. and then now in MWZ it's actually pretty OP not because it's like the fully buffed up version but you know you actually can see stuff that's useful like hey here's containers here's the AI like the mercenaries hiding see them clearly they're more dangerous than the zombies are which reminds me I think that that may be one of the uh, quote future content videos for You know, a whole whopping best of, or like worst of best ranking of perks in that. Because it's not your normal zombies, and even though there's only currently nine perks and there may probably only be nine perks in that like forever. The ranking how it works in that is going to be totally different than say in this Not map where it's like traditional ground based type Probably zombies. More than none. Clearly you know Jug's going to be best because you want to be able to take more than like four hits. But in an MWZ you know you've got armor and tons of room to run on. So the perks are more or less used to because of the way that going to be pretty, but today I couldn't give two shits. It's like a standard MP4. Why? It's kind of weird to say, and it's probably somewhat evident by the fact that I post so much MWZ content. Well, I post probably more than the average YouTuber does now. But I really do enjoy playing MWZ, but in the casual sense. The Easter eggs, the boss fights, and the, the mission side of it is cool, but once it's done, you're done. There's no replayability or variety. On the other hand, going into a game and just absolutely being an idiot and running around just for the interactions with the other players, what is this? people and chatting. <laughs> The game chat, I swear, if I could post some of the things I've seen in the game chat, um, you would see what I'm talking about, but some of it is not necessarily inappropriate, it's just the context is not there because he wasn't in game to see or understand what has happened. And I wish I could make videos, but it would be just so like, huh, what, like, what, what is this boring bullcrap? And then the glitches, I mean, I'm sure you'll see some of the glitches I've encountered, or you've already encountered them yourself. Some of the glitches are funny, just, there's a few that has happened to me, or I know how to make happen, that it's just like, it's not beneficial to the gameplay, like, glitches, but it's funny to do, just because it's like, bro, this is a $70 game. <laughs> And this is what happens when you play, you know? Get some uh, two more rounds. Can I get that shot, please? Should actually upgrade. I'm gonna be pissed if I die from lack of bullets. Like seriously. We don't need no three guns in this playthrough. 
what's gonna happen. Afterburner with the revelations camo. So yeah, MWZ, you know. It, it's different, but I think the uh, the hardcore people that play zombies and the big names and zombies hate it because it's too easy. But if you play it, just Time to need to play, to like, you know, just have fun. It still has a fun factor to it. Although a lot of times I'm just going in like, hey, I'm just going to build this dumb, like, loadout for a gun. Every second counts. Maybe more now than ever. how fast I can, like, get everything back. Not much of a challenge, but it's kind of cool just to see how certain things work. They're like, oh yeah, you know, if you spawn in with all the perks but no weapons, you know, how fast can you get a weapon and like pull it up for you? Or, you know, or you just use it for an absolute XP farm or camo grinding. You know. It's fun for that purpose, sort of. But Easter egg and storylines and fun, hard objectives that are actually, like, replayable. Eh, not so much. Come on, zombies. I want to go last stand in the corner somewhere. I should have not do that time. You've seen the map. This is all there is to it. Spawn room in this area with some barriers you can clear. Pack a punch with his wand. You know, the whole normal rundown. So, anyways, you stuck around this whole video. Thank you very much for watching. This is a replay of this map. So, thanks for watching. I'll catch you all in the next one.